Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to say a very big thank you to all of my subscribers, the new subscribers, the old ones. I want to say a very big thank you to you guys. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do. Here we learn a lot of things. Today I'll be teaching you how to cut an Igbo blouse. And what I'm going to be making use of is um, a cordless. But I'm not going to draft it on the cordless. I'm going to be drafting it on the... This is a taffeta. I'll be drafting it here on this taffeta because it's this taffeta that is what will come up because less you cannot really use it like this because it's transparent so i'll be putting it on it like this then before this is the lining before i'm gonna use the lining to turn it so it won't really be obvious if i i should draft it here so i'm gonna be drafting it here on this taffeta then after that i'm gonna cut it out from the Cut this. So now, let's get into action. At the end of this video, if there's anything you don't understand, you can send me a comment. You can ask me any question, and I guarantee you, I'll answer you as fast as possible. Now let's go. So now I'm going to be folding my fabric into two. 15 or 16 inches to be precise that's the width I'm making use of 16 here then the length of the blouse since it's an ego blouse I'm going to be attaching hanger to it that's what I'm going to be doing. So, I'll, I'll be using 6 inches to drop it. Or let me say 5 and a half. You can make use of 5. It depends on how deep you want it to be. So, for this, I think 5 inch should do. So, now the blouse length is 25. So you subtract the 5 inch from it, then you get down to 25 inch, you add 2 inches as your allowance. So now we're good to go. So the next thing, I'm going to be getting out this middle part of the, the breast cut. That's what I'm going to be doing. So for the upper part, there is no shoulder here. So I'm not making use, I'm not measuring shoulder or anything. So for this middle part now, this top part, 5 inches. Five inches. Five inches. And then five inches. Then before I start, after marking it out, let me read it. The breast point remember subtract your five inches from it her breast point is 11 why her under bust is 15 
So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be measuring one inch from here. From the top part, one inch. So now I'm going to be connecting my lines like this from this up here to on that post then down like this then from the under post this middle part you measure half inch here half inch So now I'm going to be connecting my lines like this here, I'll roll it here to this half inch, down here, then I'll bring it down like this, it's not straight, slant it down, that is for this side. This is the point, then from here, I'll now bend it down. Then the next thing the next thing from here that is from the point I measure five inch this way. Then from the under post one inch on the right side. So what, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be bringing my line from this top down here like this. As I'm getting here, I'll make my curve like this and then bring it down, down. So now let's go. So you make your curve here. So now I'm going to be cutting out this middle part out. Remember, this is how I'm going to be cutting it like this. Down this way. I'll cut it out, place it on top, then cut out my full body measurement. Then now to measure out the bust. For the bust, just place your tip on the breast point level and divide. We divide into four. That is eleven, eleven inches. I'll add two inches as my allowance because I don't really want to waste my lace. From the top. You cover out like this. I don't really need to measure this part since I'm gonna be putting is is a, an off shoulder sleeve, so I'm gonna be putting hanger on it. So then for her under bust is 35. 35 divided into four. 
Well, that's his um. It's almost nine. Nine. Then I'll add two inches as my other ones. So what I'm going to be doing now from this place. I'll bring it to my point. Make my cord. Then for the down part, that is the blouse waist. So now her blouse waist is 44. 44 divided by 4. That is 11 inches. I'll mark it here. And then I'll use 4 inches for my allowance. So now I'm bring my cup down. Now for the back part, I folded my fabric back into two. You place on it your middle part. For the zip allowance, I'll be looking at your one and a half inches. The down is already one and a half inches. So, this is the price point. Then for this middle part, you remember I used one and a half inch of here, one inch, that is under the bust. I'll just make a curve like this and then bring it down. For the dot, I'm going to be measuring from this point down to here. You can do a normal dot on it. So what I have here now is 7 inches from here. This middle part, I'll make use of five. That is for the under bust part. Five inches. You join your lines. The top is seven inches. Five inches. And then bring it down. Five inches. It is not straight, it is slanted. So now I'll cut it out. So 
poate să mi-e două pati. I'm going to be taking out half inch from it. This is the back and then this is the front. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be using this pattern to cut out my cord list. But before then, I'm going to head up to my ironing table to iron my gum stay. I'm going to be ironing my hair stay on this part. Then I'll cut out the lining and iron my gum stay on the lining i have it actually have a video of it i'll put the link up so you can see how to actually pad uh, a blouse so i'll cut out i'll use this cut this out iron my gum stay here and iron my hair stay then when i'm done i'll trim it to, to, to the desire to the accurate size then before i will come and cut out my cut lace because i don't want to waste my lace Okay, welcome back. You can see now I finished ironing the stake, the gum stay and the chest part on the carpeta. This is the back, this is the front. So this is the middle part. So I'm gonna be using it now to cut out the to trace out my cord list. As you can see, I'm done with the blouse. This is the, the hanger that I put. It's five inches. I joined it to it. I just cut the edge of the lace and joined it to it. This is the bust. This is everything. So now I'm going to be cutting the sleeve with my leftover fabrics. So I fold. It's just a normal pencil sleeve. You can check another a video on how to cut a pencil sleeve. I'll put the link above. So I'll make use of what I have. Eleven. So what I have here. Is that ten inches? I'm going to be making an ad. It's not really obvious.
extrem.